Hello boys and girls and welcome to another FMU official tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating the Premier League logo as a uh, example and installing it into the game. So we'll do the creating first. So what I need to do is open the internet or we'll use Photoshop today to do this but you can also use GIMP um, if you have GIMP it's very similar to do, very similar to use to be fair, just a free simpler version. Um, so what we need to do is type in Premier League logo so I hit that going to the images and we can choose obviously from any of these I today am going to go with this one for today ah now that is already a PNG so I'm not going to go with that one we need one that isn't a PNG already that one's a PNG because <laughs> I wanted to show you how to uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do I'll go with this one so we'll save the image save it as but I'm going to say oh no you can't can you really so we'll save it as that Barclays Premier League logo I'll show you how to delete it off anyway so if it's just a PNG I'll show you both ways to do it that's probably the best so we'll just open up Photoshop and as if by magic it's open yes we're still recording that's always a bonus so we'll open do, 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 do. what do I want to be seeing those open the Barclays Premier League logo so there it is in all of its glory so if, you, uh, if you're lucky enough just to find a PNG what you can do is uh, as you can see the background isn't there so when it's on your desktop there's no background on it it's just transparent so all you need to do then is resize it so let me just double check roughly what size the logos are English lower leagues no that's not what we want non-league logos normal the normal size ones are 180 by 180 so these are all the league logos so they're 180 by 180 so go to edit no, sorry image uh, you can free transform it but uh, you want to get the right size to start off with so all I want to do it's a very big one to uh, shrink down oh no that's right, I couldn't see my keys then. <laughs> 180 by 180. Hit OK, and there you go, it's shrunk. So we need to zoom in a bit, obviously. View, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So we've zoomed in a bit, and this is where if you want to, you can free transform it. So you can just select the corner and make it whatever shapes you want to to fit in there. You can extend it, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to undo that because that's going away. Um, that's, you know, the right size that we need. So I'm just going to save that. I'm just going to go save as. And I'm going to save it over that. And no, actually, I'm not. I'm going to make a, a second one. So that's that. That's the right size for the normal size logo. But. I should have really have just left this open. If we want to do both sizes, the big and the small, which we do, uh, we need to go into here and they've done theirs 20 by 20. So again, uh, image, image size, and then 20 by 20. Okay. And you see that's made it a little tiny little logo uh, that will show up on the uh, on the game you know next to the where it's got in the history what league they played in and stuff it'll be on there so um that's you know that's those two created so for now again we'll just save as um, and that can be logo 
small. Okay, so they're saved. I'm actually making these because I need them in the game, but this tutorial works with badges as well. Um, you know, it's exactly the same for badges as it is for logos, same sizes, uh, same folders, same config sort of setup. It's all exactly the same. Okay, so here we are in GIMP. So what I want to do is, is open what you've just downloaded. If um, if you've downloaded it as a JPEG, obviously you've just seen, if you download it as a J, uh, PNG, it's far easier to sort out. But if you download it as a uh, JPEG, you need to go to this one here, fuzzy select tool, and just click. And as you will see, it will select the entire thing. Now there are some bits on this which will be cut out completely. It depends on you how you want to do it. So let me actually yeah, let me do the main one first. So you then go to image. No, sorry, oh, I've got to say layer. <laughs> it's because I'm used to um, the other one. And uh, add alpha channel. Click on that, and then just press delete, and it will take away all the background. And then if you press select none, that's what you'll be left with. So um, you can do that, and then if you want to, you can. Uh, I need to make that bigger. Again, the same thing. The square <laughs> bracket, as I call it, selects it. So you can, you know, go around and I don't worry, I'll tidy it up. Try and not clip the main part of the badge. So you can um, go all around it, deselect it, what well, not deselect it, even rub it out, just rub it out. So then you're left with that bag, you know, that logo, which is cool as well. Then you want to edit size, so image, scale image. Now on this one. If you change this to 180 and then go to the next box, it will automatically do it for you. If you're doing one where you want the images to be slightly different, you need to unlock that and then type in there, say 160, then it will save. But we don't want to do that. We want to just keep it 180, 180, hit scale and it does it for you and then just file and save and then do it again to 2020 as we did on the other one. So that's how you do it on both of them. That's from, believe you me though, for funny shapes like that, it is easier to um, select uh, and remove the background using GIMP. Um, Photoshop's good for people, uh, like on my background here. Um, this is faded in and out to, around it, so it's not crap cut out, it's been faded on purpose. But yeah, it's easier to cut people out on Photoshop uh, but we'll be showing you that in another video. So, I'm not going to save that because I've already got what I want. But yeah, if you can download a PNG first, do that. It, it just saves you all the hassle um, all the way through. So now what we need to do is find out what the uh, ID is for the Premier League. So, if you bear with me, I will boot up Football Manager and we'll have a look. Okay, so the competition uh, number, ID number for the Premier League is 11. <laughs> nice and easy to remember. Sorry, I don't know why I just clicked on Manchester United there. Uh, is 11. So that's nice and easy. We don't have to worry too much about that. So, um, which one's which now? This is the right one. So, what we need to do is rename. 11 okay we won't do that one yet because otherwise it will copy over it so we go into our documents folder interaction Football manager graphics and uh, we'll do non-league logo pack we'll put it in with the rest of these so open the config file with notepad and we'll just copy the bottom one 
and to tab across and paste it. Oh, we need to tab across again, or we can just space it. And then just pop 11 in there with 11 in there, file and save. Okay, then just move that across into there and then rinse and repeat on here. Loop them in the notepad. Copy this one because it's different. You don't. I'll make sure you don't post the logo again, otherwise you'll end up. Oh, otherwise you will end up. Oh, sorry. Let me just uh, step back here. I'm messing this up slightly here. Oh, let me just close that down. Don't save. I've messed that up there. It's going well, isn't it? So I uh, open notepad. Okay, so we've copied it. Select the end and hit enter, enter. Go down a couple. Paste it in. What a shambles this has been. An 11. File. Save. Close. We are recording, aren't we? Yes, we are. You're probably thinking, why well, is the video 18 minutes long there? But it isn't now. Because I, I've had to cut bits out. Because I cut up a couple of times. So uh, that's why. And then just uh, rename this little butte. 11. Drag it over. Plonk it in. Obviously, if you download the logo packs, you don't need to do this. But sometimes they do have a couple of logos missing. So um, this is just showing you how to add badges and logos to the game. So that's updated now. So what we need to do is come into Football Manager, Preferences, go into Interface. We can remove that now, clear the cache, and uh, hit Confirm to reload the skin. And then when it's loaded up, ta-da! Premier League badge is now in place. And if you go into Slavon Village at Manu, go into a player's history, the small one is now on there as well. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Um, like I say, it works exactly the same with badges as well for big and small. Um, if you've downloaded a pack and um, there's some missing, or if you've created a team and you want to uh, add the badges or whatnot, that's how you do it. Um, please drop a like if this has been helpful uh, just to let me know that uh, I've managed to help a few of you guys out uh, sorry if the video is a bit here and there in places but uh, you know I just recorded a load of stuff to um, see the best way to do it to show you guys and um, you know and then I've edited it down so thank you very much for watching and uh, we will see you in the next tutorial bye bye